What happens at Grandma's stays at Grandma's is a model for you and your grandkids. If it's fun, it's fair game. But lately, hip pain has you grimacing more than laughing. And that's a moment you realize life's too short to put off treatment any longer. The Joint and Spine Center is Cincinnati's leading destination for orthopedic care with hundreds of joint replacements each year. So when a moment has the power to change the rest of your life, go to the one place with the power to change it for the better. The Christ Hospital Health Network. This changes everything. The Pound This Podcast is brought to you by the Christ Hospital Health Network. This is the Pound This Podcast, episode 630, Shay's Weight Loss Journey Weekly Updates. I want to lose weight, but I don't know how to get started. What should I meal prep every week? How do I get those sweet booty gains? Inspiration for your healthy lifestyle. The Pound This Podcast with Amanda Valentine. Thank you so much for listening to the Pound This Podcast. I'm Amanda Valentine. Shay's back with her dark barking dogs in the background. Oh, <laughs> God. What kind it's of dog does long. your neighbor have? Oh, uh, it's a mud of some sort, but she sometimes the dog, I don't even hear it. And then some days it barks for hours. So I don't think it's that bad. Well, it's funny recording today because, I mean, we're recording virtually, but we just got back from doing a Pilates class together at Shalati's. <laughs> it's like, oh, hi. OK, bye. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> you just didn't get enough of me at Shalati's. No. So then you're like, I got to talk to you. You more. and your new haircut, man. Looking good. That's right. Go and find me a husband. <laughs> How is that whenever you're a hairstylist? Do you just like have I mean, do you have your favorite person that like cuts your hair? Like, how do you decide who else cuts your hair? Well, some of it is who's willing to actually do co-worker's hair. Oh, I didn't these, know that was a thing. Some of these chicks want their hair done but don't want to do anybody else's hair. So oh. one of my co-workers, her and I generally do each other's hair. So I told her um, this weekend, I was like, I feel so ugly. I have to chop my hair. Like I, all I want to do is wear it up because I hate it. So we both didn't have a client right away Monday morning. So we like chopped it off before we had clients. Are you feeling so. better? Oh my God. Yes. Oh yay. I feel like a new human. <laughs> right. Isn't it like just, it's one of those things where like how self-care that stuff actually is, especially mm-hmm. like getting your hair done where, yeah, it just gets to the point where it starts looking ratty or if you color it where your roots come in and you just like feel disgusting until it's just like you have that refresher and you're like, oh, it's like a weight is lifted off of you. I know. I was like, oh my God. I don't feel ugly anymore. Thank God. <laughs> See, I'm getting, be- getting better with not feeling ugly without my bangs. I feel like I'm starting to own it oh, a little bit more. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. You have I'm, no getting idea. There. I'm getting there. Oh, I'm my getting God. There. I'm, I'm hating. Your face is perfect. Oh, no, I am. Oh I am starting to hate my 10 head less. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I never thought I would see that day. I know. Well, I'm not fully there. It's a practice. I'm getting okay. better. <laughs> Slow and steady. Right. It's fine. So how did, how did you feel today's Shalati's class was? It was good. I liked it. Uh, my legs were killing me from because they were sore from yesterday. But um, yeah, I liked it. It was good. Yeah, it's one of those things I did a, um, a Shalati's class or a reformer class with Shelly on Saturday and that whipped my ass like that was, yeah. but I like it. It's where I could just feel all of my abs are so sore anytime I laughed or coughed or anything. And it's like one of those good pains where it's like, Ooh, but it's like, Ooh man, I am like, I'm working something that, that doesn't get worked as often as I want it to. Yeah. And I feel like today's class too is going to do the same thing for me. Um, for sure, which I had somebody ask me this question on Instagram, and I thought that I would let you answer it instead of me, since you've been going to Shalati's with me, or somebody said that they want to try Pilates, but they didn't, they're worried that it's not like body friendly. They're like, is it for every size, you know, every age, like, I'm just kind of worried of like, am I going to get in a class that I'm going to feel uncomfortable in because I know whenever you first start coming you're just like I don't I've never done this before and you're self-conscious of joining a class or a new brand new thing you've never done before with a group of women where you're like I don't know you know how am I going to fit into this group so I thought that you would be a good person to answer that question um as far as at Shalati's I never felt that way uh because it's such a diverse group of women um like there's we're all different sizes and different ages. Um, and I feel like everybody was like really friendly from the time that I started working out there. So I didn't ever feel self-conscious at all. Um, and it's not like I'm like a really thin person or anything. So, 
Um, and I feel like it's something that a lot of different body types could do. It's not like it's going to be too hard for someone because you can adjust it. Yeah. And same thing with age. I mean, from, I mean, you were probably definitely the youngest person in class today. I mean, there's four of us, you were probably the youngest. Yeah. And then there's a woman that's in her sixties that yeah. does a class with us and we're all doing the same thing. And it's, you know, just staying healthy and moving our bodies. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's my experience too. Um, you know, with, with Shalati's cause I'd never done like a real Pilates class, especially a reformer before that. And I just feel mm-hmm. the same way of just, it may be the most diverse form of exercise class that I've actually ever taken with yeah. having people that are, you know, seniors to people that are, you know, in their twenties in every single shape and size where even when I've done like yoga classes and stuff like that, I didn't feel like it was as diverse as Pilates has been, even for such a small class. Yeah, no, I like that it's really diverse because I totally get that anxiety of feeling like you're going to be the wrong body type or be too big. Um, And I didn't feel that way at all. So Yeah, I just, I, I just, Oh, I just hate that so much that so many people feel scared to exercise because yeah. you're well, it's like you're doing something good for yourself, but you're just like, but you're halted because you're like afraid of what your body looks like doing that thing that's good for yourself because mm-hmm. you're worried somebody is like going to shame you or, or just think like, oh, you're too fat to be here or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just, I just hate that we live in a world where that's a thought that crosses probably most of our minds. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I was looking for a trainer, I literally was looking at Jim's Instagrams and Facebooks to see if there were fat people working out there. Like that (laughs) was what I was looking for. I was like, I don't want to be the fattest person at this gym. Like I was literally seeking out a place where it looked like there was a little bit of a diversity. Yeah. So, Did you find a lot? Of, scary. I mean, I mean, I know you're specifically talking Cincinnati, but there's a lot of gyms in Cincinnati. Did you find a lot of options that, that where you saw a, more of a diverse crowd working out no. there? Really? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. So, but I don't know. I mean, it's what they're posting on social media. So I also know that as a bigger person, I don't necessarily want myself on social media, like true. pictures of me working out. Yeah, so, that's true. Well, yeah, that's, so, I mean, as the very limited experience I have now being a personal trainer and doing a lot of social media stuff, where especially my radio job was so social media involved, it's awkward to be like, let's take a photo or take a video while you know, you look like hell, you showed up to the gym, you're not trying to win a beauty pageant, you know what I mean? You showed up to yeah. work and sweat of like, yeah, go plaster this on the internet, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know that, you know, I mean, at this point, it just kind of, de- it depends on where my mindset's at as far as photos go. I mean, I am light years beyond where I used to be, where they're do not post a picture of me on the internet. I will untag so fast. I will delete mm-hmm. everything. Just I could feel when a camera comes out on me uh, or a phone and would just duck away and hide like no, no, sir, no, ma'am. But now it's like the camera comes out and I'm like, I got to act stupid. Like I got to be ham for it. Like I'll jump in the shot. Like just how much that's changed in my confidence level. But still sometimes, uh, which I talked about in this podcast, specifically at Chilotti's, like Shelly posted a, a picture of me. And I'm like, I just was so in my head about it that I hated it. And I felt awful about my own body. And I'm like, please take it down. (laughs) And I'm like, it's not her fault. It was just where my mind was at that day, which was when I'm, you know, when I'm in any part of my menstrual cycle, it's bad news bears for my emotions. I cannot control how nuts I am. (laughs) No. And the body stuff is confusing because one day I feel totally fine about my body The next day, nothing about my body has changed. And I've like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm huge today. Right. Yeah. Um, I met somebody once who she has a business about um, like styling clothes and her process, which I really appreciated was, you know, if you put on clothes one day and you're like, dang, I feel banging in this. And then the next day you put on clothes and you're just like, oh God, I feel so fat where it's not you, it's not your body. It could just be the clothes. Like, are you really wearing clothes every day? Like, why why not try to feel like a rock star every day? Like, why not? Even if you're just sitting at home, instead of sitting around in jammies, like, why not just 
pump it up or whatever you got to do to be like, damn, I feel good. And kind of let, you know, that change your mindset and think of how the clothes can change that for you. I'm like, Oh, I've never thought of it that way. Yeah. So yeah, I, um, uh, I, I don't, but still now I just, all I, I wear just gym clothes every single day. I mean, since <laughs> the beginning of 2020, I have not even tried on a pair of jeans. Ugh. Um, I have just worn nothing but leggings or sweatpants for almost a year and a half now. <laughs> oh my God. See, that's why I'm glad I still have to go to work because, uh, like when I was unemployed, I did, I just wore like pajamas and leggings all the time. So I just looked homeless every day. Yeah, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love it, it is. <laughs> but, but then also it's easier for your jeans to get tight and you have no clue. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't know if I want to put my pants on or my jeans on right. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I also don't like it's stuff like that where it's like I don't want it to be a day ruiner. I have to be in the right mindset yeah. to be like, you know, where am I compared to like in, I don't know. It, I don't know. It can just go such a bad place. Just like weighing yourself. Where have you been? How have you been doing with that? I know you're doing once a week, right? Yeah, I'm still doing once a week. So. That way I'm not obsessive about it. Yeah. Are you yeah. still maintaining? Yeah. Cool. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Every week I'm surprised. Well, so. dude, I mean, you crush your workouts. I mean, I obviously we were just talking about digital Lattes with you today. And then I was at the gym while you were training yesterday at, you know, at Cincy 360 Fitness. And damn, you were like lifting some heavy weights, like getting strong. You were. Like, I'm like, damn, I can't do that. Like you were just crushing it. So yeah, <laughs> I can totally understand why you would maintain or do better because you're putting in a lot of effort, even if it doesn't feel like it. Like I watched you go through two intense workouts two days in a row. That's right. Hell yeah. I mean, do you yeah. feel that way? Do you feel like good about that? Or is it just one of those things of like, Meh. no, like I do, like, I love like feeling stronger for sure. Um, like the stuff that I do with Josh now, I couldn't definitely couldn't have done when I first started working with him. So, um, I like feeling strong more than I like being smaller, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like totally. I get more joy out of being stronger than I do the fact that I've lost weight. Oh, so that's awesome. Yeah. Like that, that builds my confidence more than anything else. So, and it feels awesome to me to like be able to do stuff without needing a dude or, I don't know, just as cool, I think, especially as a girl to be like, damn, I'm a little bit strong. Yeah. I mean, how much weight were you deadlifting yesterday? Like it was like a hundred, 170 something pounds. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> 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 like funny. that's intense. Like, I'm, you know, I'm uh, putting some people through some workouts right now and we're just deadlifting 30 pound kettlebells. You're yeah. deadlifting 100 freaking 70 something pounds. Damn. <laughs> well, it's funny. Josh always makes fun of me because he'll be like, that was really good. That that's that's a lot of weight. And I'm and I don't know, like I have no reference of anything. And so he'll be like, you should be more excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be like, you're never like hyped about anything. I'm like, I don't know. Comparison wise, like, am I strong? So he's always like, can you be a little more excited? <laughs> he's like a weird hype man <laughs> he is a weird hype man <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so Hilarious. how is the next week look any obstacles I mean does Valentine's Day tempt you at all I mean not as far as like going on dates or whatever I'm just talking about half price chocolate the day afterwards no okay. I'm not even gonna look at it like I went to Kroger yesterday and I was like Oh my God. There, it's like, first you walk in, it's a bunch of flowers and teddy bears, tons of baked goods. Yeah. And then on the other side of Kroger's, all the candy. So I just don't, I just act like it's not there. So. See, I go to, uh, Valentine's Day is my favorite. I just like, Ugh. I mean, obviously Valentine, <laughs> I was born that way. And so. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That's. But, I like all the cheesy crap. Like I just, I mean, I, for Valentine's Day, me and Mike don't ever do anything just because I hate crowds. I mean, it doesn't matter COVID or not. I'm not going to Valentine, a restaurant on Valentine's Day. 
I'd rather yeah. go jump off a bridge like than be <laughs> packed elbow to elbow with a bunch of people <laughs> on Valentine's Day. That's just my I just don't like crowds. And so um, I just but I like all that just crappy heart stuff. But then I so I go look at it at Kroger, but I never buy it because I'm like, I don't what the hell do I need a teddy bear for? And like Mike doesn't buy me that stuff. He'll buy me balloons because then it doubles as a toy for the cats and then I get to huff the helium <laughs> and then so it's a win all around. But as far as like I think the teddy bears and all that stuff is cute, but I'm like, I'm I don't need to own this. You know what I mean? Like for what? So it just gets donated to Goodwill ultimately. But I like to go peruse all this stuff and the candy that's where I saw they have like marshmallow Reese's cups now and I'm like shut up that sounds awesome (laughs) oh see that's why I can't I can't look and I can't try it because if I know what it tastes like I'm gonna feel like I need more of it right yeah I didn't buy any I wouldn't be opposed to getting some if if, like Mike gets me some for Valentine's Day like I'll eat them right um I try not to go out of my way to buy them so but I did buy like little Valentine's Day cards just because that way I feel like I'm participating in some way. And those are pretty harmless. I got ones that came with magnets, not candies. Oh, there's some get one. With... Yeah, for sure. Give me one of my chicken nuggy ones. I got oh! chicken nuggets in here. I got the two boxes right chicken here. Nuggie. Everyone listen. I have the wild animal neon Valentine ah. that come with magnets. <laughs> and those then are awesome too. I have the chicken nuggets Valentine's Day cards, both from oh Kroger. Oh my god. I am not sponsored by Kroger, but they should sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> yes they should Kroger has like almost all of my money <laughs> oh my god dude that makes me want to go like get those and pass them out to my clients you should Feel see like. that's what I was going to do is hand them out at the gym and I was just going to leave them there for the rest of the trainers because I mean I only have a couple clients right now and so I mean I don't have a bunch of people to hand them out to but if the rest of the trainers wanted to hand them out to people then I was just going to leave them there because I don't know I think it's fun <laughs> can you picture Josh giving out valentine's no. cards <laughs> I know I don't think he'll do that that would oh be so God. awkward. It'd be hilarious. I would shit my <laughs> my came in here's like, here's a Valentine's Day card with a magnet in it. <laughs> or a pencil. They have I'd ones with like, pencils. Are you all right? <laughs> what like, is are, happening? Like, are you on your period? <laughs> oh, oh, Josh. You on your are you on your period? <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. We'll see. I'll see him. Oh, but I, I'll see him tomorrow after you go in. So otherwise oh. I would give him one to give you, but oh. <laughs> be like, oh give us to God. Shannon. Just don't ask questions. Just do it. <laughs> oh, he probably still wouldn't do it. No, I bet he would. I don't He's know. Like, I'm not doing that. There's going to be a lot of these <laughs> tests now that I'm going to be there a lot more. So I'm hyped. <laughs> oh my God. Yep. So, and there's going to be I'm yeah. Well, which we still have to do our Shalati's class with him. We never talked him into that. We never got that done. I'll figure it yeah. out. Yeah. I'll get it done. Do it. Yeah. Or or sweat into the oldies. We haven't done that yet either. I know. And now that you're at the gym, we totally could. I know. So I'll have to figure out a time to do that. I wish there was like a big flat screen TV that we could pull up Richard Simmons on, which I saw a TikTok the other day with Richard Simmons in it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm glad he's still kicking and hanging out. And being How Richard old is Simmons. that man, man? He's forever young. He's young and <laughs> forever young. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, That's scary! I and I still haven't watched it because they're free from the library, so I still haven't watched the videos yet because I wanted to wait to have the experience until we were going to like actually work out with it. I just got to figure out a schedule, probably like, um, and then well with your schedule too. So your schedule is kind of different than the gym schedule. We'll figure. It yeah. Out. Even though we've been talking we about this. it for months now, we'll figure it out. Oh, we got to make it happen. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe if I, I get enough clients at the gym, it'll just be like an Amanda client thing. We'll just like, okay, this Saturday, it's oh, the dude. oldies day which for me and my crew. That would be awesome. I know. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see oh, what happens. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, after COVID, it'd be so awesome to do like just a sweat into the oldies class. <gasps> I know. Mm. yeah maybe I could just dress up as Richard Simmons dude if you did that uh, that would be I wouldn't even need to live anymore after experiencing that. like I could totally end right there like that would be fine I have so many costumes but I don't have a Richard Simmons I mean really you just need short shorts which I do not own short shorts and a tank top and like just a wig and and then it's just a sparkling attitude and that's and Listen, then you're gonna need some like I don't know um you know some hang on Sloopy and we're gonna just sweat it out to that song. 
<laughs> you got to make this happen. I know. I, but we can't have a group class in COVID. It just has to be a limited amount of people. That's right. Okay, if you're listening to this, and we could do it virtually too, I guess. If you would attend, if I orchestrated something at Cincy 360 Fitness, whether in person or virtually, if you would attend my Richard Simmons Sweat into the Oldies class, send me an email, amanda at amandavalentinebites.com, and I'll take a tally of podcast listeners. And if it's a lot of people, like you don't have to write me a whole email, just be like, make the subject line Richard Simmons, and you don't have to write me anything if it's awkward. Like, so I can take a tally and see if I need to, ma- or I guess let me know where you're at too if you're not in Cincinnati. Then be I'm a team gonna... player, guys. Yeah. Dude, that sounds so much fun. All right. Yes. All right. I'm coming up. Gives us something to live for. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Oh, my God. That and that warmer weather coming soon. So that I'm I'm getting excited for. Get this winter weather out of the way. Let's get some sunshine and some warmness and let's get some walking weather back outside. I mean, I could totally if I was the rich, if I was Richard Simmons and we weren't going by like his videos, we could totally do like a big outdoor class. Oh, yeah. I mean, all I would need is to, like, be mic'd up and have um, a PA system, which I have plenty of (laughs) radio friends that own that that would let me borrow it for the day. Dude, we got to make it happen. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, it's going to be epic. Yeah. So anything else anything else on uh, on the agenda for the week since Valentine's Day is not going to impact you at all? Not really. I bought a stationary bike. So oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so, going to use that some this week. So talk to me about that. So you only paid 200 bucks for this thing? Yeah, and it's new. See, that's almost as much as I paid for my crappy one, and it's not digital because I got it from a gym, and it's rusty and loud as hell, and I can't Ew. tell what I'm doing. And I'm like, damn, if I would have known I could have got like a new bike that was like legit for 200 bucks, I would have bounced on this thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly like a cycle bike. Like it's, I'll just send you a picture of it. Um, like it's not like it's up as high. I don't know how to explain it, but, um, yeah, it was only $200 and it's got the digital display and it's real quiet. Cause that's what I couldn't get anything loud cause I live in an apartment. Yeah. So I don't need my neighbors pissed off at me. So, um, yeah, and it wasn't that hard to put together. So, and have, and you said yesterday that you just got on for, for a little bit without like doing a class or anything on it just to feel it out. Yeah. So Monday I was kind of slow at work. So I came home for a little while and I wrote it, um, for probably like 30 minutes while I was at home. Um, but I'm going to try, I'm going to look on YouTube and see what kind of classes they have. Um, but I also am like planning on writing it while I watch TV. So nice. Because when I first started losing weight, I would walk in place and watch TV. So I'm like, I'll just freaking ride this bike and watch TV. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, um, yeah I, um, I've i been using the Peloton app for my bike. Um, and I, I mean, it's, what, 15 bucks a month or whatever. Mm-hmm. And there was a while where I wasn't using it because... I would get in so much, I wasn't in pain when I rode from like whatever, all my back crap problems. And so, but at night it would hurt so bad I couldn't sleep. So I kind of didn't use it. And then I was like, well, oh, do I cancel it or do I not? But I'm glad I didn't because now I'm back in the routine of doing it two to three times a week in addition to what I'm doing at the gym. And that's where I wish I had a digital readout because I'm just, I'm trying to watch their knees and see like how fast they're going to gauge myself. And then like, I don't know if I'm doing it hard or like as, as hard as they're doing it or harder. So, I mean, I'm sweating and I feel like I'm getting a workout. My heart rate's up, but I mean, I, I just, I did some YouTube videos and I didn't like them as much as the Peloton stuff because there's just so many choices and options and different yeah. different instructors where some people I feel more than others I like other people's music selection better I like that I can choose between a 10 minute ride or a 45 minute ride and everything in between like it's just uh, you know this is not a commercial for Peloton but like <laughs> but I would Peloton send me That's a $3,000 awesome, bike please instead of oh my, my rust bucket bike oh. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've, I've, I would, I would vouch for that. I've, I've enjoyed it, and yeah, I usually don't want to pay for crap, and I don't mind paying for it, and I feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of it. Well, that's good. But I don't, I don't use any of the other things. Like it has a ton of crap on there, and I've done like the meditation thing a couple times, but that was, I, I do prefer YouTube for guided meditation videos, and then 
I did one of their walking things and it just ended up making me angry. So I didn't like it. I'm like, just shut up. (laughs) But that was just me. I'm like, I just want to listen to my podcast or music instead of like trying to hype me up to walk. I don't know. That was my personal preference. Yeah. I don't think I'd like a walking one either. Yeah. It just felt awkward to me of like, it makes sense. Like when I did couch to 5k, um, you know, specifically because I didn't use an app for that. I used a podcast, um, which I don't think she's updated in a million years, was the Chubby Jones podcast. And I liked it because she did like hype you. She was just like, yeah, bitch, smack that ass. You looking hot. And I'm like, ah, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh that I God. enjoyed. <laughs> If they were all like that, that'd be awesome. I know. And I don't even know how she got away with what she did because you're not supposed to use music in podcasting. And she used, she made playlists and played me. I mean, this, when I did her Couch to 5K podcast, this was, I mean, 2012 is when I started using it. So it was a while ago, but it's not like podcasting was not anything at that point. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how she did that, and I hope I'm not throwing her under any buses, but she's awesome, and we follow each other on Instagram now because after I did that and I lost weight and I started running races, I sent her, I think I might have sent her an email and was just like, hey, I just want you to know that your podcast is just like totally helped me. It's changing my life. This is how much weight I've lost, and this is what I'm doing now and running a half marathon, and I just wanted to thank you for putting this out there, and um or it might have been a Facebook message or something. And so now we follow each other on Instagram and she like lives in like Washington state and runs like a goat rescue. Oh, I know. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Send her a message and be like, can me and Shan come and meet your goats? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I know somebody in Cincinnati that raises little, like the little tiny goats. Okay. Can you please, you need, I need to be introduced to this person. <laughs> Well, I've only been out there twice, and I wanted to do yoga with his goats, but then Aww. every time we were going to go out there, it was raining, and I'm like, I don't want to get in, like, poopy mud with a bunch Ew. of goats. So, but they're so cute I'm obsessed they hop around. with animals. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> my serotonin levels would skyrocket. <laughs> they're so cute. I know. Oh, my God. That's amazing. And I don't know if I'd want a pet goat, but I would totally have a little pet baby raccoon. I think they're so cute. But they're mean. Baby r- raccoons are scary. They're scary when they get older and mean, but they're so cute when they're little. Little babies. Yeah. Little ba- and then there's a guy that I follow on TikTok that has, like, a possum that he hangs out with. And I'm like, they're kind of ugly, Ooh, but, like, somehow they're weirdly scary cute. Too. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I saw a video on Instagram. Did you know that chickens are affectionate? Oh, yeah. They're so cute. Oh, my God. I was when like, like – these no. like little kids hugging them and stuff? Yes. I was like, chickens are affectionate? <laughs> and then I went through a whole thing. I was like, how's it any different to eat a chicken then than my cat? <laughs> it was like a whole thing. Oh, oh are you God. going vegan now? No. <laughs> like, like, they're it, not was... that cute. <laughs> How's it any different? They love to. Well, the same thing with pigs. Pigs are incredibly intelligent. Yeah. And Mm. they're so cute. Yeah, little baby pigs are cute. Oh, God. Yeah. Wow. This is sad. Yeah. (laughs) We should probably get off of cute animals and (laughs) which ones we're choosing to eat. (laughs) Eat and not eat. (laughs) Oh, my God. It's awful. (laughs) All right. Well, I'm going to get to work. On the sweating to the oldies thing for serious, if you're listening to this, send me your feedback, Amanda at AmandaValentineBites.com. And I'm going to work on getting that Shalati's class with me, you, and Josh in there. Because we can't forget to torture him. Like, that's we, we're, we're slacking on that. So It'll bring me so much joy. And especially now that he's my boss. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my God. I just enjoyed, like, even just the two of us with him on Monday. Uh, it's just it's gonna... just fun to give a hard time. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be – I'm going to be the worst employee ever. <laughs> yeah, but he'll just have, like, a love-hate relationship with you. Yeah, but there's no HR there, so. <laughs> so you can do what you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody can report you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't I don't foresee it going to a bad place, but, yeah, he's fun to hassle. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good week, and I'll, I'll – Sure, I'll see you sometime in the next week. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Talk Bye. to you later. Bye. For info on health coaching and more, go to amandavalentinebites.com.